You're pretty close with Duke Johnson. Uh, yeah. What's your relationship like with him? Oh, man, we cool. You know, we uh, spent time at the agency meeting, me, me and him and Pyramid, and it was good. You know, those guys are hardworking guys they compete and you know they, they're excited for us to come down there and compete with them you know that's the only thing to talk about is competing and that's what i love i love to go to compete and those guys be re will be ready to go and they will be too so it's gonna be excitement down in the sun life stadium the miami dolphins you know that's my favorite team and i'm excited to be down there in the stadium why is that your favorite team you know i, I just always love watching miami and you know, i was a big, big dan marino fan and growing up it was all about the dolphins to me and most of my family is from miami florida so it's gonna be a great atmosphere for me you guys have won, you know, two in a row, and you're looking to try to build some momentum going forward offensively and as a team. How, how do you guys think you could best do that? Uh, we just got to keep being consistent on both all three phases of the football, um, offense, defense, and um, on special teams. And uh, as offense, we got to start much faster. You know, um, I think last this past Saturday we started off a little bit too slow. You know, we usually jump out and start to get on the road, but you know, we're just gonna keep playing our style of football, smart, fast, and physical, and just playing smart. You know, we just got to do the things we need to do to execute on both sides of the football. You know. As an offense, you just got to take care of the football. And on defense, you know, they're going to stop the run, do what they need to do. But we're excited. Uh, we're just going to keep doing what we do and hope we can keep winning games, man, because, I mean, it's fun when you win, and it's very sad when you lose, man. A couple guys have <clears throat> been banged up in the offense. Elijah, yeah. Luis Crowley, you know, you took took some shots on Saturday. Yeah. How are you guys kind of dealing with those yeah, types of things? see the scar is where the scar came from my hammer taking off. But, I mean, that's, that's the name of the game. You're always going to get banged up and you got to bounce back. You know, I, I know Luis is going to bounce back for this game on Saturday, and Elijah is going to bounce back pretty soon. But that's the name of the game. You're always going to get hurried or something's always going to happen. And it's just that's the name of playing a football game. And, you know, it's just how much you really want it, you know, how much you want to come back and be successful. You know, Elijah's working really hard just to come back to help us win football games, and so is Lucas. I mean, he's doing what he needs to do to help us come back and win more football games. So, is Lucas practicing now? Yeah, I mean, he he's, he did some individual deal. I mean, drills today. So, I mean, he he looking good. You know, he's just it's going to take some time for him just to get it back in the rotation. Though. Do you think Miami is going to smarten up and double Matt Collins when he goes long? Oh man, to be honest, I mean, it's my Hurricanes, so I mean, they run like rabbits, so I'm feeling confident they probably just gonna man up, you know. I mean, they, to be honest, it's down south is the same speed as Mac Hollins running right now, so I mean, those guys are gonna come out and compete, and I'm excited to see how Mac Hollins, Mac Hollins go against and compete against those um, corners because that's pretty fast corners, too. So I mean, you know, they're just gonna play their style of football, whatever that is, to help them try to win the game, that's what they're gonna do, but you know, Matt Collins is going to do it the best what he can, and you know, Matt Collins is Matt Collins. Miami actually hasn't been quite as stout against the run. Do you think that's something that you and the rest of the running game could take advantage yeah, of? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you say, um, we've been watching. They haven't been too much big on the run game, and we're going to try to take advantage of that. You know, just have to take advantage of anything that they give us, and that's more key. We're just going to move the ball down, move the ball, move the ball, and take shots when we need to take shots. Do what we need to do. You know, Saturday was uh, was a confidence booster for I think most of the guys. You know that we still we still uh, we could still make something happen and still make a game changing play on on the punt return team. Your thought process has had to change back there this year, hasn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, I've had to I've had to be a lot more patient and I've had to um, for started forcing things early in the season. Um, but uh, you know, I didn't didn't make a lot of mistakes other than the one against Virginia Tech. But uh, you know, for the most part, I've had to I've had to kind of. Um, you know, be more prepared uh, from a from a returner standpoint. I've had to watch more film, uh, and, I, and I've had to expect different things because teams have, have, you know, they've changed their whole game plan when they've played us. Uh, so it's kind of hard to to you know um, to come into a game when you don't know what to expect.